like something it is actually guiding me somewhere else and then sometimes I circle the block and I'm able to enjoy some of the goals I had from that previous thing I'm just saying if you take anything from what I'm saying take this it is your life you can do whatever you want with it and you should want whatever you want you know what is it what's your dream what's your goal what's uh, something that would make you so happy or just like oh you feel it in your heart and I'm one of those people where I try to question what is in my heart, question within reason, meaning is it really something that I as this soul wants or is this something that I feel like I got from society, that society is placing on me the expectation and as time progresses I feel like I'm taking all of those like society stuff let me take some of your society stuff as time progresses i'm taking all of that society stuff and i am leaving it where it's at and i realize that i personally am much more simple than i thought you know my own individual goals are, are much more um within reason but i thought i needed to do all of these other things as well so removing that and taking that out and just leaving that where it's at but now i realize wow life is not that tough life is not that complicated like the simple things are really beautiful the simple things matter the simple things are so healing the simple things bring a lot of joy and patience i've been talking about like minimizing and, and simplifying and i think it's not just an external thing it's an internal thing too having the courage to let go surrounding yourself that's no longer working being able to have the courage to say you know what what I want is quite simple and it doesn't have to be a complex life in order for it to be a meaningful life and for me I know that I definitely struggle with I'm very I'm ridiculously ambitious I'm one of those people that if like I really think younger I did everything so when you do everything you can't move as quickly as you would like to in one area you know and so I started to narrow down and when I started to narrow down I started to feel like oh you know it's hard because it's like I want to do all these things I don't just want to do this one thing but I realized that wanting to do all those things was really a distraction because the faith that it takes to believe that one thing that you're focusing on will actually work you know, I was um, uh, circumventing that faith by putting myself, you know, by diversifying, putting myself in a lot of places, but I wasn't able to move forward in the path that I wanted to move forward as quickly. And then also realizing that the goals that I used to set, huge goals, but for me to truly be happy, I don't need all of that. You know, I, I really don't. I don't need all that very weird, specific things that were based off of, you know, your goals and your expectations at that time. And now I'm very simple. I'm like, I just want to do something that's meaningful and that's helpful to others. You know, I, I feel like my time is really precious. I used to be one of those people that I filled up my day. Like, I always been big into planners so you know depending on when I would wake up between six and nine at this time I'm gonna do this at that time I'm gonna do that at this time I'm gonna do that and I would just you know use up every ounce of energy I had and now I look at it from the perspective of life is worth enjoying savoring there's experiences that I can't 
which you have to be meeting new people, but when you become an adult, you kind of limit that. You kind of limit that, and also sometimes people be doing the most. You got, you just need your me time, you know. But I also like am a big person who is into hobbies, um, so I try to meet new people and develop new friendships over like-minded things. Because if you keep the same friends forever, I'm telling you, if you keep the same friends forever, y'all will start growing in different directions and different. And there is only a select few of those friends that y'all can completely like different things, but y'all are just connected. And I literally can count them in my life on one hand. But for everybody else, I feel like you get to meet new people as you pursue what your interests are and what you like. And now I feel like the confidence to be able to say, when I wake up today, I want to do whatever I want to. That's the life I live. Literally, it is the life I live. When I wake up, I say, what am I going to do today? And the only obligation I have is to, like, hang out with y'all. But past that, I just, like, what I want to do today. <laughs> and I think deconstructing my mind to, to get out of the expectation of always going to be working at every second of the day, da 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 to I get to enjoy life. It's it's new, and I started to realize that it's like, oh, I gotta enjoy because what if this doesn't last for long? And then I started to realize that the reason why it wouldn't last, last is because I would refer back to a mentality um, and essentially self sabotage. No, you know, any kind of binds that you're in, any kind of just, oh, you feel like your life is not moving in the direction that you want it to move, you are in full control of shifting and making changes. There are that you don't even know yet that will free you that will take you to the next level I couldn't have ever guessed that for me it would be in this kind of way that it would be like you know um, having these uh, online communities and healing spaces I would have never guessed that but when I was making that shift to say this is what I want to do I want to be able to be in this wellness space I just had that intention I just let it go and just you know went through the motions of all the things, but I had to have the confidence, and to this day, I realized that, wow, I cannot believe I worked in jobs where they paid me the bare minimum to do all this work. I can't believe I, like, really valued myself based off of this, this, and that, even at times my financial goals, oh, like, I remember feeling like, oh, once I finish my master's, I'm gonna be able to make this amount of money, and to realize that I make more than that now doing not, not as much, but feeling like, feeling like what I do now is much more meaningful than what I could have ever done in that space, because I get to one-on-one -on -one connect with people, that I get to create a space where people can feel healing and connectedness together in a safe and inclusive space. And I'm just like, you know what? You gotta have the confidence to just trust. Trust in the universe. If it is in your heart, it's gonna happen. You don't have to have all the answers, but trust and you got this. Well, babies, I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope you breathe in.